What's going on guys, it's your boy Diggs, finally back, YouTube has reinstated me, so I am officially up and running again, alright, um, I've been reading the comments, you know, I've been trying to keep up with you guys, so, I'm just letting you know, I got, I got you, alright, I know, um, people were saying the PS4 remote play wasn't working anymore, they need an update app, so I am just gonna run through this with you guys again, alright, so, here we go. Step one, you have a phone. Doesn't need to be a Sony. So I got a G4 here. All right. Uh, first thing you want to do is turn on outside sources. So you need to go to your settings. Um, mine, which yours should be too, is located under the general tab. And then under security. Where the hell is it? I'm doing that. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm in the wrong settings. <laughs> <laughs> this settings all right and you go to general and mine is under security which yours should probably be too and you have to find this thing's called unknown sources allow installation of apps from sources other than Google Play Store I'll unclick it so you can see what it does all right when you click it a little warning pops up it says hey are you sure you want to do this blah blah risk responsible damage blah you hit okay all right then you go back all right Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the link uh, provided in the description. This will be the updated app. I'm just going to refresh it to show you what it looks like. When you load it, it's going to look like this. Don't click that. Don't click that. You want to hit download through your browser. It'll load, and then it'll download down here. You'll see it. It's going to be another one for me because I just tried it out made sure it all worked. All right. Bam. It's there. All right. Once it's there, you're going to open it. Uh, show in the folder. So you see I have two of them. So I have that. And then what you're going to do is find your phone. Mine is a G4, of course. So I click on the G4. Open that. Then copy one of these. Or you probably only have one. I have two. Copy. Paste. Um, copy and replace because I already have one there. So it's there now. All right. The next step is you go back to your phone. Um, I'm just going to delete mine to show you that this one is the one I'm using and it does work. Just give me one second. PlayStation app. Uninstall. Yes. All right. So once you have it moved onto your phone, you're going to use a file explorer file browser. My phone comes with one. Um, if you don't have one on your phone, which I, I don't see why you wouldn't at this point, um, you would just download one from the app, a file explorer or file manager or something like that. All right, so mine is right here. It's called file manager. I open it up, and you see this is my root, the root of my um, SD card or phone SD card, and you'll see it right there, remote remote play. I just click on that, and the installation comes up. I hit install, and then I hit open. You'll get this this thing about the uh, DS4. I can't figure out how to get this to work. Um, obviously, there's some drivers missing and needed. I don't have. And all the ways I've read online do not work. So um, if you found a way that does work, that does not involve 6-axis app, because that thing does not work even on a rooted device, it is false, uh, you let me know, and uh, we'll try it out. So we'll skip this for now. And then right here, you just click Next. It will automatically search. Um, if you're not logged into your PSN already, it's going to bring you to your login page. You just log in. I'm already logged into my PSN with my PlayStation app. And you'll see it's searching for my PlayStation, which is actually running on my TV to the right over here, which I'll show you in a second. And it's going to connect. My internet's a little choppy here, but it should be fine. You can see my PlayStation on over there. Sorry about the mess in the background, guys. I was in process of cleaning. I'm not sure why it's taking so long this time. Didn't take this long two minutes ago. Uh, within the limit. Alright, let's try that again. It's got to be a problem with my internet. It's been like that today. There it is. Alright, so my internet fixed itself. Alright, so you're going to hit here. You see it gives you a little description how the buttons work. 
I'll show you in person how it works to use control yeah yeah all right so you see when you hold it like this you have your PlayStation screen I'm doing this so you can see that it's the same screen but when you turn it sideways it makes it bigger and better and as you can see here when I hit the button it does react with my PlayStation simultaneously all right you see it working there all right so you see you have buttons here all on the screen all right um, in the middle here there's some invisible buttons one being uh, two being the joysticks you see them when I put my finger here they pop they pop up and then right here is the touchpad up at the top here so any games that involve the touchpad or anything now you know it, it's not going to be the greatest for playing like games like Madden or anything like that seeing that I mean all the buttons are right here it's not the same I mean if you can work with this that's great um, like for me I use use this app like say if I'm at work and one of my franchises is doing a draft I sit here and I draft my phone and it works anyway you don't have to be in the same room as your PlayStation obviously when you're further away from your PlayStation it just takes longer to load and it's a little bit more choppy but I mean for a draft or something like that it works fine um, to use your other buttons you see this little tab right here pops up and you have your PlayStation button and you see that brings you to your home screen, you have your share button, and you have your options button. And you can still do everything right from here. And you see them working. I mean, it's it's barely no lag when you're in the same area. Um, I'm sure there's a bit of lag when you're far away from home, but it does work. Everything on here does work. Um, the sound even comes through here. I'll turn it up. And you can hear. I'll go back to Madden so you can hear the sound of Madden in there. Let me see. All the sounds are there. If I wanted to, uh, you know, I don't know how to do the R3 button. Never tried. It's a good question on this. I'll have to look that one up. I'll leave in the comments if I ever figured out. But I never, because uh, I see the R3 option up there. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. Be a good. Oh no! Yeah, I guess you just double tap it. I did it. All right, R1. You know, just put some music on so you can hear. It still does work. Obviously, I'm not gonna play too much music though because they YouTube hates that. But yep, yeah, everything's there. Everything works. Um, any questions or any issues, just let me know. I'm sorry, these guys are just blowing up my phone right now. Um, any issues or anything, just let me know, and um, I'll be glad to answer. Hopefully, this does work for you. Like I said, this is a G4. It's not a Sony phone, so it does work on any Android phone. All right? Make sure you like, subscribe, share. I'm back. I'll try to get everything going again, um, and we'll go from there. See you guys later.